Hi guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. I remember how exciting CB used to be when it first came out. The fact that you could talk to anyone completely free. Before that, the only option you had was the phone, and that you couldn't talk to entire groups of people, it was only one to one. When CB radio was at its peak, it benefited a lot of different types of people. Obviously, you had the people that used it in their vehicles, the people driving around, and you know, people driving for a living and all that sort of stuff. But it benefited people, neighbours keeping in touch with each other, um, people that were, you know, housebound or, or really, really ill, couldn't get out much. CB for them was a great way of keeping in touch with people. And that's really why radio was invented. That's why CB radio was legalised. For radio to work, the frequency has to be shared. And radio communications work best when they're transmitted, you know, in the right way without any overlap or, or distortion. And in all types of radio communication, there's a there's a formality and a process to how you send signal. Usually you'll find out first if a frequency is in use and you'll ask to see if the channel is in use and then you'll send your message. So you're basically asking if the frequency is busy and then you know, you'll say something along the lines of I'm transmitting, um, is anyone receiving my signal? If you get a response, it will be confirming your message was received and then an exchange of signals will, you know, will follow when the two stations talking to each other. In CB radio, this has become, you'll key up and say something like break, break, or one line for a copy, or you can call with your with your call sign. This is Charlie Tango 1994, anyone got a copy on this? So in order for CB radio to be used for everybody's benefit, the frequency has to be clear, while others will be listening for particular transmissions and respond accordingly. It has to be clear so that all signals can be heard. That means no dead keying, no music being played, and no foul-mouthed breaker with a kilowatt amp bleeding all over the channels. So before we begin to use the airwaves in a way that suits everybody, we should establish some rules. Be courteous to each other. Now you don't have to be over formal, but just help each other out. If someone's trying to get a message across to someone else, you know, pass the key around, all that sort of stuff. Enjoy it for the hobby that it is. And swearing, you know, it's part of everyday life, but don't forget that you're on a broadcast channel. Especially during the day, there's going to be kids around. So if someone is on frequency and people are effing and blinding and carrying on like they do sometimes, again, it's not really courteous to other radio users. And then there's two types of um, sort of dead keying. One, you know, obviously just sitting keying up, just trying to block the channel so that other people can't use it. And then there's people that just ramble on and on and on and on, stay on the key for, you know, minute after minute after minute. Radio are designed to be, you know, short transmissions and, and exchanges, not long 10 minute rambles without allowing other people to use their rigs, you know. The other thing is about music on the channels. Obviously, they're, again, just to block people from being able to use it. And then the days before sort of pirate radio, I suppose it was the only way for people to practice their, their radio DJ skills. It's, you know, since the legalization of CB, there's always been people using the airwaves in that way. But now it's really done just, just to annoy other radio users. You know, there's no need to play music on CB. Go do it somewhere else. You can start up your own online station now if you want to. Don't need to be on the rigs. And then the last thing is about the channel 19. Yeah, it's supposed to be the calling channel. I know that there's not so many people around now. You know, it's easy to sit on the 19 and just carry on your conversations. But as a courtesy, we should be moving off that frequency just to keep it clear. So, you know, if we're going to be using CB radio in the way we want to, get the best from it we should be observing you know some of the traditional rules that we would have had in place 30 40 years ago same goes for channel 9 all right it's not really monitored in the way that it used to be it is there as an emergency channel it should really only be used for emergency stuff if you break down on the motorway if somebody's ill there are stories of people putting distress calls out on on the cb channel 9 mayday calls and all that sort of stuff people's lives have been saved because of it a bunch of other channels you can use why do you need to sit on channel 9 so i think if we all followed those sort of basic rules about how to use a cb radio a lot more people would come back to it you know people would see the enjoyment in it hearing and the abuse and all the dead air as well people get bored because there's nothing to listen to but it's good that cb is being used again you know for me i think there's a real uplift in the amount of people getting back on the airwaves